Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good I'm evening. Fine. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Thank you. My God, I feel that ee, I saw you many days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just a weekend. Well, it's a great pleasure to have you here. I hope that you had a very good weekend. And for sure, I hope that you finish with every paperwork that you had to do, right? Espero que hayan terminado con todo el papeleo. Because there, is a, there are a lot of documents to, to complete and send. ¿Ya enviaron todos los documentos, chicos? Sí, ya. Sí, ya. Yes. Hay un montón de papeles que mandar. So I... I hope tengo that... mi DUI, ¿Qué pero pasa? mi DUI me lo dieron mal, o sea, en el DUI centro me lo han dado como movido. A nombre. Entonces, ay, las copias y todo eso ha sido desde que empecé terrible. Entonces, yo creo que me va a tocar ir a que le saquen copia hasta ahí arriba. <ríe> Porque ¿Sí? no, no sale bien, es de más, ya, ya. Ahora estuve lucha y lucha y... Sí, es que si lo escanea con el teléfono o algo así, no le va a salir. No, no, sale, no sale, no sale bien. Tiene que ser en la copiadora, ¿verdad? en la copiadora y ahí se lo pueden mm. reducir y acoplar y todas las cosas. Mm. So it, it's better if you do it like that. Oh. It is better. What about the rest? No problem. Estoy esperando. <laughs> bueno, sí, hay que hacerlo, hay que hacerlo pronto porque... Es importante ¿verdad? para que no les quede, para que ustedes eh, reserven su espacio, obviamente. Ok. It's good to know. So, what about the rest? Did you have the chance to send everything? ¿Ya tuvieron la oportunidad de enviar todo lo demás? Okay. I do. Ok, good. Hello, Cynthia. How are you? Oh, your microphone, sweetie. Well, did you have the chance to practice the verbs? Tuvieron chance de practicar los verbos. Good evening. Ay, se me cayó mi audio. Un ataque de un animalito. Qué terrible. Sorry. So, I'm okay. I'm okay. I will survive. It's okay. So, uh, the verbs it's very important right to practice because it's it's not really complicated the idea is that you get to know them that you get to practice them and for sure that uh, you get to recognize them right that's the most important part let me share my screen with all of you we are going to go here because we're going to practice right so we are going to start with some of the things that we did today, okay? And we're going to go here. I am going to start here. Let me share my screen with you. And we will start. So tell me activities, people, that you do every day. What was the first thing that you... Uh, that, what is the first thing that you do in the morning, for example, when you wake up? What is the first thing that you do in the morning when you wake up? I take a shower. Brush my teeth. Okay, so I will take both, right? I take a shower. And then we have here, I brush my teeth, right? I brush my teeth. Another one? What is another thing that you do? I drink um, coffee. I drink coffee, okay, after you brush your teeth. Primero se pien y después toma café. Come on. <laughs> I take a shower, I brush my teeth, I drink coffee. Okay, I drink coffee. Another one. I take breakfast. Okay, I take breakfast. Good. Estirarme, stretch myself. I stretch myself, right? Stretch I myself. stretch myself. 
Okay, I stretch myself. Another one. What else do you do in the morning? I stretch myself. I brush my teeth. I take a shower. I drink coffee. Invent other things, okay? It's not necessary that it is exactly what you do every day. So you, breakfast? I cook, okay, I cook, very good. I go for a walk, maybe you exercise. You don't go to work. No trabajan en la casa. I clean my house. I clean a house. Okay, I clean my hair. Okay, I clean my house. Era domingo, digamos que era domingo. I clean my house. What else? I watch TV. Do you check Netflix, Facebook, Instagram, anything, social media? No. No, son anti technology. I say good morning to my husband. I say, imagine after all this, right? Primero se bañó, se 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 me 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 I, I find my center, my peace, and then I say good morning to my husband. Okay. <laughs> after you eat, right? Antes del café y antes de la comida. No. Uh -huh. Cuando ya no reseñal, <laughs> le doy. I say good morning to my husband y después a comer. <laughs> ah, I say good morning to my family. Let's say to my family. So we can make it general. Yeah, I, I always say like, I, that's something that I say. After coffee, yes. Before coffee, no. <laughs> yeah, antes del café, better not. Right? <laughs> so you say, I say good morning to my family. Okay, I clean my house, I watch TV. I check social media. I check social media and give me one more. Give me one more. One more activity. Una más. Make it up. I, I put on, okay. I put on makeup, okay. I put on makeup okay but no para todos aquí no aplica vea para los chicos i put on makeup and i i enjoy my day okay i enjoy my day these are the activities that you normally do right these ones can be for sure in simple present because those are normal activities general activities that you do every day right but if you say that all this happened a minute ago. Okay, todo esto pasó ya hoy este día en la mañana. So there's no more way. It's already finished, right? It's done. All these activities are done. So in this case is when the past tense appears, right? Here is when we welcome the past tense because in this case, all these activities are already finished, right? So you can say, the day is over and I did them already, right? I finished with my activities. And you can say, what did you do? Okay, teacher Nati, what did you do here? So you say, today it's over. So you say, in the morning, I took a shower. I brushed my teeth, right? You cannot say I drink a coffee. How do you say here? What is the past tense of drink? Drunk. I drank. Right, I drank coffee. I take breakfast. You say, I took breakfast. I stretch myself. I cooked. I, how do you say this one in past? Go. Went. And I went for a went. walk. I combed my hair. Okay. I and cleaned the house, right? Yeah. I watch TV. I, what is the past tense of say? Say it. Say the same. Said, I said, I said good morning. I checked oh. social media. Put is a normal verb that doesn't change. So you say, I put on makeup. It's the same. 
right? And I enjoyed. enjoyed my day. This is something that you can say. This is a very small practice, right? And I always recommend this one. I always recommend this practice. It is. It sounds uh, maybe, how can I say, childish. Puede sonar muy infantil y todo. But when you are learning English, I always recommend people to have a little diary of their everyday. You need to have a little diary. Así como el diario que teníamos cuando estábamos jovencitos. Vea. Hoy fui no sé qué. Hoy hice tal cosa. Hoy no sé qué. The same thing in English. It works marvelous for you to practice the past tense. You are not going to put in detail many things that you did on the day. But if you keep track of the activities that you did, it is going to help you to practice the past tense. Imagine that you say, I went on a bus and I pay. I paid 25 cents. I went to the market. I bought bananas. I bought an apple. I bought a pineapple. I bought a, a watermelon, right? And you can keep track of what you did every day, okay? Puedes llevar un récord ahí de lo que hiciste todos los días. Le va a tomar cinco minutos cada noche. Escribirlo en un cuaderno. And you go and say like, well, today I took a shower. I went to work. I took breakfast, I cooked dinner, I bought pupusas, I talked to my friends, I checked WhatsApp, anything, anything that you did on the day. And it helps a lot. And it helps you to go to sleep better, right? Si lo ponen en el papel, ya lo saca de su cabeza y ya duerme más tranquilo. <laughs> so, <laughs> it works very, very well to practice. And you might say, ay, teacher, ¿cómo voy a llevar un diario a estas alturas de mi vida? It's, it's not a diary that you're going to say, dear diary, today it was a beautiful day. I saw Anthony on the street. He was so handsome. No, you're not going to write details, right? Like candy candy there. No. <laughs> you see, you laugh already. <laughs> Todas las fans de candy ya la vi. <laughs> so... You can write details about activities that you did, okay? Not secrets or something like that. Bueno, generación no sabe, teacher. Okay, no va a poner los secretos ahí de estado, ¿verdad? Pero actividades en general. It is good. It is good to practice, right? It is very, very good to practice. And it can be very helpful. It can be very, very helpful. Uh, for your English practice. So that's my recommendation. You see the activity that we did was very simple. The activity was very, very easy. And, and you can do exactly like that. You can do exactly the same, right? Just to write general sentences about the things that you did during your day. And it is going to be very helpful. So practice with me. I took a shower. I took a shower. I brushed my teeth. I brushed my teeth. I drank coffee. I drank coffee. I took breakfast. I took breakfast. I stretched myself. I stretched myself. I cooked. I cooked. I went for a walk. I went for a walk. I went for a walk. I went, I went, for, went a for a walk. For a walk. For a walk. I combed my hair. I combed my hair. I combed my hair. I combed my hair. I, combed my hair. I cleaned the house. I, I cleaned my house. I watched TV. I watched, I watched TV. I said good morning to my family. I said good I morning, said to, my morning family. to my family. Okay, I said good morning to my family. I checked social media. I checked social media. Check. I checked. Check. 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 Carlos, deja estar saliendo en cámara, hombre. Sí, va a creer ahí pornografía. A no vimos nada, no se preocupe, estaba desactivada. 
Ok, Carlos estás a salvo, no te preocupes. Ay, ya, ya, ya me cambié de posición. I, I put on makeup, but you have a mirror behind you. Tienes un espejo justo atrás, así que igual vamos a ver a Carlos. Ay. Okay. Hi. We saw Carlos. <laughs> That's another practice for past. <laughs> I enjoyed my day. Say I enjoyed my day. I enjoyed my day. I enjoyed, I my, enjoyed, day. I enjoyed my, day. my day. Enjoyed. I enjoyed my day. I enjoyed. I enjoyed my I enjoyed my day. Very good job. So here we have uh, some other sentences. What is the first one that we have here? <coughs> I I went to I went work. To work. I went to work, right? I went to work. The next one. I drove my car to work. I drove work. my car to work. What is the next one? I prepared, I prepared prepared coffee. coffee good very good what about the next one i i cleaned the car i cleaned the car the next one i eat breakfast i, I eat breakfast eight i ate breakfast what about the next one i, I ate breakfast. breakfast i went to the bank i went, I went to, the, to bank. the bank very good i went to the church. To the church. To the I church. picked up. I picked up. Picked up. In this I case, up. in this case, as you can see, you have pick up. Pick up, it's recoger, pasar trayendo a alguien, right? El pasado cae en el primer verbo, en la primera palabra, okay? You say pick up, tiene dos palabras, pero no va a decir, I pick up it. No, that's not correct. You say I picked up, the first one. I picked up my girl at school. The next one, I have dinner right i have dinner what about the next one i i drank milk in the morning i drank right i drank milk in the morning what about the next one i read the book, a book. i read a book right the next one i, I checked my phone i checked my phone right checked my phone and i I did exercise. I did exercise. I ate tacos. I ate tacos. I ate tacos. I ate tacos. The last one. I rode my bike. I rode my bike and I cooked. I cooked last week. And I took a bus. I took a bus. Right. I took a bus. Very good job. Right. I took a bus. So all these activities are things that maybe happened a couple of minutes ago, right? It's over, it's done. So these activities are completed, right? These activities are done. They are finished. And for sure, here is when we use the past tense, right? Yes, uh, last week we were working on this conversation, right? On which they were doing different activities and they say, Okay, the things that we were that we were doing, they had a busy weekend, right? They have many things to do. And here we have a specific activities that the person did on the weekend, right? Here we have, what did you do on Saturday? It says, I exercised in the morning, I cleaned, I did laundry, I shopped, and I visited my parents, right? So there you have. And the boy, it says that he studied for the test. And it says like, did we have a test today? And it says, sure, but he didn't study, right? He didn't study for the test. <laughs> and we were studying the different forms of the verbs, right? We were studying the regulars and the irregulars. And so here we have them, the rules that we have for the verbs and for sure the different things that you add to them. Right, the different letters that we add. But 
We also have the different irregular forms that I send them to you on the document, right? Todos los irregulares que también se los envié en el documento. Todas las formas regulares que tienen su pronunciación específica también ya las tenemos. So, here we have the irregular verbs, right? Tenemos las formas irregulares también, right? That I have divided better in the, in the document, right? Todas estas formas irregulares que se las he detallado un poco mejor en el documento. So here we have the three forms, the, the simple uh, form, the past tense, and the past participle. When are you going to use the past participle? When you talk about the present perfect, right? Cuando pasemos a estudiar el presente perfecto, ahí vamos a ocupar la tercera o forma. Que... Okay, mm. you, are, you are going to use the si third. Si lo ahí en el agua, voy a acumular ahí en Hoy todos andan peleando con la familia, pobrecito. Ya vimos al pobre que lo regañaron por andar saliendo en cámara. Y aquel anda como Ahí salió. Todo. Salió corriendo. Pobrecito. Ok, so here we have the eh, irregular forms, right? Esas también ustedes ya la tienen en sus documentos que está súper detallado. And here, right, we have the different forms of the verbs. And for this one, this is what I wanted to do today with you. How do we create sentences with the verbs? How do we make this type of sentences? With the simple present forms, with the verb to be, we say was and where. What is was and where form? It's for the verb to be, for am, for is, and for are. If, for example, you say, in this case, I am your friend. Okay, I am your friend. Pero por azar del destino nos peleamos, ya no nos hablamos. So you say, no, teacher, I was your friend. Pero ya no más. I was your friend, but not anymore, right? For the sentences that in the normal form are with am, um, is, or are, we use was or where. Was is for is and am. Um, and where is for are. For example, imagine that I have another sentence that they say, they are in El Salvador. They are in El Salvador, porque vinieron para los juegos, pero ya se fueron. So you say, they were in El Salvador. Okay. In this case, you say, they are in El Salvador, or they are in El Salvador. Pero ya no están, ya se fueron. They were in El Salvador. So in this case, the past tense of are, is where and the past tense of am is was and if you say for example he is happy pero le dijeron algo y ya no so you say oh, okay he was happy ya no está contento he was happy a couple of minutes ago okay él había guardado una pupusa ahí en la cocina. He is very happy. Se la comieron. He was happy. Not happy anymore, right? He was happy. This is the past. But in this case, the verb is is or am or are. And in this case, yes, you transform with was and where. But what happens, for example, in sentences? Y aquí me voy a ir a, a la pizarra porque sí les quiero explicar algo importante. When we have different verbs, for example, you say like he plays in the garden. Okay, what is the verb that we are going to transform into past tense? ¿Cuál es el verbo que vamos a transformar? Play. 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 Plays. Okay, ya pasó, ya se entró a la casa. ¿Qué ponemos? He what? played. He played in, in the, the garden. garden. Uh -huh. Por ahí alguien me iba a decir la oración que yo ando buscando. He was played. <laughs> ok. Solo que por los zancudos. ¿verdad? Por las mocas quizás. He was played in the garden. Fue jugado. This is not possible. Right? Cuando las mamás le dicen, quítate que están jugando las, las mocas. <laughs> so, he was played in the garden. This is not possible. Right? This sentence is not correct. If we say he was played, no podemos tener dos verbos juntos en este caso. 
Okay. He played in the garden. Yes, but he was played. It's not possible. Este es uno de los errores más comunes al usar el pasado, que le quieren poner was a todo. Okay. When are you going to use the past with was? ¿En qué momento del pasado van a usar was? Pero ese es otro tema. When you say he was playing in the garden. ¿Qué es esto? Esto es pasado continuo. ¿Qué estaba haciendo? Ah, he was playing in the garden. Pero esto es la traducción de he is playing in the garden. Okay. Eso sería la contraparte de esto. Él está jugando en el jardín. He is playing in the garden. Eso sería la oración en, en presente. He is playing in the garden. ¿Dónde está el gato? Ah, he is playing in the garden. Ah, pero ya no está en el, ya no está en el patio. Ah, he was playing in the garden. Pero ya no sé dónde está. He was here. Aquí estaba. He was playing here a couple of seconds ago. So, this is another thing. Este es pasado continuo. Esta es otra cosa que vamos a ver más adelante. ¿Qué? ¿Qué estaba pasando en un momento en el pasado? Cuando otra acción lo interrumpió. Okay, but this is another topic. The one that I want you to focus on is this one, right? He played in the garden. And we are going to go and create the sentences with this. You say like he, let's say he cooked dinner. And you make a past tense in the verb. But you say the negative form. He, he didn't cook, teacher. No, he didn't cook dinner. And in this case, we invite the auxiliary. Aquí invitamos al auxiliar didn't. Y él nos ayuda porque el verbo es normal. He didn't cook dinner. And if you want to make a question, so you say, did, did he cook dinner? Did he cook dinner? So there you go. The, maybe the complication is in the affirmative ones. Son en las afirmativas es que nos da un poquito de dificultad. He cooked dinner. Okay. And this is how you create the sentences. And if we go back to what we were doing here, si regresamos a donde estábamos, right here, here we have the three forms, right? She worked yesterday. She didn't work yesterday. Did she work yesterday? And here we have the three forms of the sentences. The change happens only in the affirmative sentences. Solo las afirmativas cambian. Okay. Give me three examples. Okay, three examples. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. With one verb in past. Okay, aquí tienen el ejemplo. You can use he, she, I, we, they, anything. But make an affirmative, a negative, and an interrogative sentence. Here you have the example. He studied yesterday. He studied yesterday. Make it negative. Okay, he studied yesterday. Negative. ¿Cómo lo hacemos negativa? He didn't. He didn't. He didn't study. Study yesterday. Uh-huh. And in the question? Did, did he? Did he study? Ah, uh -huh. did he. Si ya ocupamos did, el verbo es normal. Did uh, he did study? He study. Yesterday. yesterday. Very good. That's the form. Okay. Copy another one. Escribí otra para tener otro ejemplo. I need you to write the three examples. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And sí, yo, you... Pero en sí, en sí, el din, cómo, o sea, que, que, el, que da a entender, o sea, componerlo, oh. que cambia la oración. Ok. El did es nuestro auxiliar que nos ayuda a, pues sí, hacer el pasado. ¿verdad? Ya sabemos que si ocupamos did es porque la oración ya sea es una negativa o es una pregunta. Entonces, cuando utilizamos el auxiliar did, el verbo se nos vuelve a la normalidad. He didn't work yesterday. Esa es la función del auxiliar que nos hace negativa la oración y el verbo nos lo corrige igual. 
porque no podríamos decir, she didn't work yesterday, porque tenemos, tenemos doble pasado, con el auxiliar y con el verbo. No le podríamos poner ed, por ejemplo, worked. Entonces, la regla gramatical nos dicta de que si usamos el auxiliar didn't en negativos y preguntas, ahí el verbo nos vuelve a la normalidad. Solo en, las solo en las oraciones afirmativas, el verbo se usa su forma pasada. ¿Okay? A veces la gramática es un poquito como que o sea, y decimos, pero ¿por qué no lo dejaron normal el verbo? Y no le ponemos, she did work yesterday para las afirmativas. Y hubiera sido lo más fácil, pero no. Tenemos los verbos en su forma pasada y en las negativas, didn't. Este caso es, ella no. Ella no trabajó, ella no jugó, ella no fue, ¿ok? El pasado. That's the form of the... Con consistir el was y el were. Ajá, el was y el were va solo para los verbos específicos. The is, are, or am. ¿Ok? Ese cambia solo para esos tres verbos. Esa es su forma pasada. ¿Ok? La forma pasada de am es was. La forma pasada de is es was y la forma pasada de are es where. Entonces, estos tienen su forma eh, específica. Son irregulares. ¿Okay? Este es un verbo irregular. Y el auxiliar nos ayuda en esta forma. ¿Okay? So, did I answer your question? Gracias. ¿Pondí la pregunta? ¿Más o menos? Sí, ya me ayudó. Okay. <risa> ok, ya. Yeah. Esa es, es, es su forma específica. Es su forma pasada de was and where, y lo vamos a utilizar obviamente con oraciones donde en presente hubiéramos ocupado is o are. Como estas, por ejemplo, they are friends, they are from El Salvador, they are studying English, right? Como el primer verbo to be que vieron, que decía, she is my mother, she is my friend, they are from Canada. En eso, ese verbo, are, ahí tenemos que cambiarlo, y sería, they were from Canada, they were my friends, she was my sister, okay? So here we have, this is the specific form of the verb. Y esto es para todas las formas de las oraciones. Auxiliar y el verbo en su forma base. Auxiliar, sujeto y verbo en su forma base. Okay, we're going to see more examples. Ya vamos a ver más ejemplos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who can give me examples that you created? ¿Quién creó ejemplos? A ver. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Reina. He danced yesterday. He danced yesterday, right? He danced yesterday. Another one. He didn't dance. He didn't yesterday. dance. Uh -huh. Very good. He didn't dance. He did, did he dance yesterday. Did he dance yesterday? Very good examples, right? Very good examples. The only thing, remember, don't change the verse. Es muy buen uso del verbo, Reina. No lo cambiaste. Ya usaste el auxiliar, el verbo normal. Good. Any other examples? Yo. Go ahead. Wait. She comes on Saturday. Okay. She didn't come on Saturday. Okay. She, she came. didn't come. Uh -huh. She came, but uh -huh. yes, she did came on Saturday. Uh -huh. She did came on Saturday. Okay. En ese, el, el, se, no, el no, el va primero. She came on Saturday, right? Ella vino el sábado. Okay. She came on Saturday. She didn't come. She porque, didn't come. Uh -huh, porque ahí volvemos al verbo normal. Uh -huh. So we Tenemos have came. The other one is come. Okay, el verbo normal. Okay. She didn't come. Uh -huh. She didn't. She did come on she, Saturday. She didn't. She didn't. Acordémonos didn't. que la negativa es didn't. Es la negativa. Right? Uh -huh. okay. She didn't come on Saturday. Uh -huh. He did come on Saturday. He did come on Saturday. Okay. Lo vamos he, didn't he didn't come. Pero si hacemos una pregunta, did he? Did she? Ah, she, she, she. she. Did she. she come on Saturday? Vino ella el sábado? Did she come on Saturday? Okay, and there you have the sentence, right? Did she come on Saturday? That's the question, right? Auxiliar, 
Sujeto, um, verbo en su forma normal y el complemento. Okay. Úrsula, did you have a question or did you have an example? Example. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Tell me the examples. Um, I draw yesterday. I draw, I draw or I drove? I draw, manejar. Ah, okay, I drove with V. Mm -hmm. I drove. I draw. Very good. I draw yesterday. I didn't drive yesterday. Very good. Did she drive yesterday? Did she drive yesterday? Very good job. Very good examples. Another example. Roberto Carlos, vamos. She played yesterday. She played yesterday, right? She played, she played yesterday. yesterday. She did not play yesterday. She didn't play yesterday. Yes, very good. Did she play yesterday? Did she play yesterday? Very good examples. Excellent, Roberto. I need more examples. Okay, well, Lupe, go ahead. Uh, my daughter climbed the mountain. Okay. My daughter, my, okay, my daughter didn't climb the mountain. Did my daughter climb the mountain? Excellent. Did my daughter climb the mountain? Very good job. Another example. Who has more examples? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah, I, I teacher. Mirna, go ahead. Pero si no me corrige, ¿verdad? It's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. He paid target on Monday. Okay. He didn't. Uh -huh. He didn't pay on Monday. Did he pay on Monday? Okay. Did he pay on Monday? That's a good. The first one. He paid target. You say. Te referías a la tarjeta. Okay. Sí. Ah, sí, okay. He paid the credit card. Okay. The credit okay. card. He paid the credit card. Porque target es objetivo. Yo dije, pago, ah, okay. pago el objetivo. He paid the credit card on Monday, right? Pagó okay. la tarjeta el lunes. He paid the credit card on Monday. The next one will be he didn't pay, right? He didn't pay. He didn't, he didn't pay. pay the credit card on, on Monday. Monday. And did he pay the credit card on Monday? Very on good Monday. job. Okay. okay, good. Just Thank make you, the teacher. make the correction. Excellent. Jorge Francisco, your examples. And then Eric and then Oscar. Go ahead. Okay. She don't play yesterday, no, she played. Okay, okay, okay. Well, vamos, she, played she, played she played, played the word like this. She played? She uh, did play on yesterday evening. Did she play on yesterday? Did she play? Okay, aquí cuando las, las hacemos pasados, negativos, no las cambiamos el verbo, okay? No podemos decir she didn't play yesterday, okay? So we need to be very careful with that. In that case, you have, for example, let me just get a, a new a new thing here. Just, okay, I will erase this one. If you say, for example, here, she played yesterday. Okay, aquí la tenemos. She played yesterday. She didn't play. Y aquí el verbo vuelve a su forma normal. Yesterday. And the question, did she play yesterday? Okay. As you can see, this helps us, this helps us to know about the past tenses. Si se han fijado, hay cosas específicas que nos marcan que son pasados. You can say some minutes ago. Right? Or yesterday, you can say last week, last Monday, last year. 
okay? In the morning. Esas son frases que nos ayudan a marcar el pasado. ¿Cuándo pasó lo que estamos hablando? You can say, teacher, I went to work. I went to work this morning. Yo ya sé que esto pasó. ¿Cuándo? Hoy en la mañana. I, I went to work this morning. Estas frases que van al final nos ayudan a marcar el pasado, ¿ok? Si de repente la pronunciación no falla con los pasados y todo, esto nos ayuda también a saber qué están hablando en past tense. Good. The next volunteer, please. Jorge Francisco, thank you very much. Let's go with the next one. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. She went to the cinema on Saturday. Very good. She didn't go to the cinema on Saturday. Very good. Did she, did she go to the cinema on Saturday? Did she go to the cinema on Saturday? Excellent. Very good job. We have a Oscar Otoniel and then Diana. She bought a shirt yesterday. She bought a shirt yesterday. Very good. Another one. She didn't buy a shirt yesterday. Very good did job. Did she did she buy a shirt yesterday? Did she buy a shirt yesterday? Very good examples, Mr. Oscar. Fantastic. Diana, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I wa I know I play huh? with my son in the garden. Okay. Uh, I didn't I didn't uh, see? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't play with my son in the garden. Very good. Uh, did I play with my son in the garden? Excellent job, right? You did a very, very good job. That's the form, right? There you have the forms of the past. Kathy, go ahead. Ahorita. Uh, she was yesterday. She was yesterday what? She was not there yesterday. Oh, very good. She was she not yesterday. Okay, te la puedes escribir para que la vayamos corrigiendo. She was not there yesterday. ¿Esa es tu oración? Yes. Yes. Okay. She, was she was yesterday. Not... What is the past tense here? Y lo siguiente, she was not there yesterday. Very good. She was not there yesterday. Did she not yesterday? Aha. Good, good. Aquí quería llegar. Mire, very good example. Did she... ¿Cuál es tu pregunta? ¿Cómo la armaste? Did she... Was, perdón. Aha. Very good. So you say, was she... Not yesterday. Ok. Aquí en las preguntas no podemos poner not en este caso. ¿Qué tendríamos que agregar? Was she... There. there yesterday. Yesterday, ok. Que vos llegaste a la casa y no la viste. You say, was she there yesterday? Estuvo aquí ayer. Estuvo ahí ayer. Right? Good. Good examples. Because with was and where, we don't use did. Ok. Because we use the same verb. Right? She was not there yesterday. Uh, sorry. In this case, you say, she was there yesterday. Aquí me comí un... Okay. ¿Para quién se ocupa el was, teacher? ¿Para quiénes? Ok, para he, she, it. Ok, para he, she, 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 he, she, and it. Ok. Ok, la primera sería, she was there yesterday. She was not there yesterday. Was she there yesterday? So here you have, for am, you use was en pasado. For is, you use was. And for are, you use where. Okay, that, those are the three forms. Am, is, and are. Was, was, and where. So here we go. Very good examples. Let's go with activities, specific activities. Tell me these activities in past. How do you say the first one in past? What is the past tense of a stand? Si no lo sabemos, busquémoslo en este momento. What is the past tense of a stand? Uh -huh. 
Este es un Google search. Es en el tú. pasado simple. Es stood, very good. The past tense. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el pasado de stand? Stood. 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 No vamos a decir stand. Es stood. So you say, I stood in line. Yo estuve parado en la línea. I stood in line. Yo me paré en la línea. Do laundry. What is the past tense of do laundry? I did, right? I did laundry. I did laundry. Porque aquí el pasado, este me va a decir, teacher, pero yo ocupo el auxiliary did. No, aquí estoy ocupando el pasado de do. What is, the, what is the past tense of do? Did. Travel. What is the past tense of travel? Traveled. Traveled. Very good with ed. I traveled to work. The next one. Go to meetings. What is the past tense of go? I went, went to went. meetings. I went, went to meetings. What is the past tense of exercise? Exercise. 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 With D, right? You only add the D here. I exercised. Work in the yard. What is the past tense of work? Work. Worked. worked. I Very worked. good. I worked in the yard. Clean. Work. Cleaned. Clean. I cleaned the house. I cleaned the house. And open? Open. Opened. Open. Right? Open. Opened with the, right? I opened the mail. Very good. So these are the past tenses. Let's continue here. What is the past tense of break? Broke. 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 What is the past tense of do? Did. 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 What is the past tense of fail? Felt. Felt. Fail, right? Oh. Felt. What is the past tense of have? Have. 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 What is the past tense of see? So. So. So, right? So. See the SME. So. So. Okay. Aquí se lo voy poniendo a la par, para que lo vayamos viendo. So, right? So. Porque si decimos seed, esto es semilla, ¿ok? Esto no es posible. Yo semilla, mi amigo. <laughs> It's not possible. I saw my friend. What is the past tense of bring? Bro. Broad, right? Yeah. Broad. What is the past tense Bro. of drink? Drunk. 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 Drunk, right? Drunk. 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 Drunk es el pasado participio. What is the Drunk. past tense of get? Got. 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 What is the past tense of no? New. New. New, right? What is the past tense of sit? Sit. Si no lo sé, le pregunto al amigo que sabe. Vamos, pregúntenle a Don Google. What is the sad, right? Sad. Very good. Ok, eso es un buen tip también. Antes de inventarme un verbo, lo googleo. Ok. Sat el teacher. No, right? Sat. WhatsApp. <laughs> uh, WhatsApp. Ok. Bye. What is the past tense of bye? Bye. Both. Both. Right? Both. Both. I bought something. What is the past tense of eat? Eight. 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 What is the past tense of give? Okay. Eight. Eight, right? Eight. What is the past tense of make? Made. Made, made right? Make it. Make it? No, right? Say made. <laughs> made. What is the past tense of take? Took. Took. What is the past tense of cut? Cut. 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 It's the same, right? Cut. Right? It's the same. It doesn't change. What is the past tense of fall? Fail. Fail. Right? Fail. What is the past tense of go? When. 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 Read. Read. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Read. The change is in the pronunciation. So say read. 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 And think. Thought. Thought. Right? I thought about that. Right? Thought. So those are the past tenses, right? Ya ven un ejercicio tan chiquito así agarrar varios verbos y irlos como transformando, right? 
escríbanos en presente y pásenos a pasado. It's, it is a simple practice, but it's very meaningful. It's a very, very meaningful practice. So here we have the different pronunciations with id, with t, and d, right? ¿Cómo le simplifique la vida? Para que ustedes no anden buscando la, la sílaba, que esta, que el otro. Yo ya le di las categorías. Ya le di cuáles son t, cuáles son id, y cuáles son d. Ok. Wanted, needed. Todos los que terminan en su forma normal en T y en D van a ser I. No solo ahí, a él le recorté una categoría total. Todos los verbos que en su forma normal terminan en T o en D, su pronunciación en pasado es I. Wanted, needed. Right? So there you have. The ones with T, remember that when you have the pronunciation T, you say help. Como que agarrar esas dos palabras últimas y les pusieron una T. So you say helped. Washed. Looked. Loved. Washed. Ok, yes. imagínense. Eso en su mente, o sea, obviamente van a terminar en EDV. Pero en su mente, imagínense que le ponen la T ahí para que le funcione la pronunciación. So you say washed. Watch. Laughed. Breathed. In this case, you say breathed. breathed. Kissed. Kissed. Danced, fixed. Okay, there you go. You have it. And in this one, imagine that you erase the e. En esto, solo imagínese que le quita la e. And you say cold, cleaned, offered. Por qué? Porque en estos tenemos la tendencia de decir colored, cleaned. Y la e no suena en este caso. Solo suena la d. You say cleaned, offered, damaged. Loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Okay, you don't have the E sound. But what is this without practice, right? Yo así les puedo decir 20 veces, pero let's practice. And here we have, aquí tengo tres categorías chiquitas. I need you to practice the pronunciation. A todos les voy a dar una categoría, así que practice all of them. Here, remember the id. You say suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Category number two. So you say lived, climbed, phoned, waved. Arrived, cleared, studied, listened, toured, considered, traveled, stayed, rescued, happened. And with the T, announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed, laughed, brushed, crashed, worked, lived. Attacked. You have the t -t 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 sound at the end. So say announced, cooked, right? You have to listen to the t -t sound. In the other one, say lived. Ahí no hay sonido, no hay vibración ni nada. Say lived. The D sound. D, 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 D. Lived, climbed, phoned, right? So tienen que ir aprendiendo también a escucharse ustedes. Ah, sí, me sale el sonido, no me sale el sonido, right? In the other one, say suggested, voted, needed, accepted. The E, right? Ese es el más sonriente de todos. So accepted, painted, contacted. Ahora ya para las fotos no van a decir cheese. It's not going to say accepted. And you're going to have <laughs> quack. Cheese to the teacher. Say accepted, accepted. And then you're going to laugh on the picture. Hated, it, it, it. practice the three categories, please. Practiquen las tres categorías. Practice ahí con su micrófono apagado. Dele a las tres categorías. Que salga el sonido de la D, the lived, and the announced with the T sound, okay? Practice, practice, and practice. Voy a ir a traer la lista para pasarles lista antes de que les diga qué vamos a hacer. 
practice, practice. I want to see you practicing, okay? I can see your cameras. Teacher. Yeah. What do you say? La primera. Suggested. <laughs> Suggested. Suggested. Say suggested. Suggested. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. A la orden. Continue practicing. I will open your attendance. And here we go. Le puede pasar lista y en lo que me van practicando, ahí le puede, me van diciendo ahí present or here, okay? Continue practicing. Ana Isela? Present. Ana Ruth? Ana Ruth? ¿Dónde anda Ana Ruth? Anda vagando. Ok. No, no lo tengo. Eh, Brian Francisco. Present. Carlos Ernesto. Carlitos. Not here. Cintia Marisol. Present. David Alejandro. Here. David Rafael. Present. Diana Beatriz. Present. Diego Rodrigo. Por ahí lo veo. Eric Javier. Present. Thank you. Fatima Ivin. Fatimita. Ok. Eh, Jorge Francisco. Presentito. Josué Abel. Present teacher. Juana Margarita. Present teacher. Catherine Jamilet. Present teacher. Laura Lisset. Present teacher. Lorena Raceli. Present teacher. Mirna Yasmin. Present teacher. Oscar Otoniel. Present. Reina Yael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Present. Sandra Beatriz. Present. Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Tatiana Vigail. Present. Adriana Burgos. Present. Wendy Lisset. Here, teacher. And teacher Nati. Present. <laughs> okay, good. So let's continue here. What are we going to do, Pete? What are we going to do? I need you, please, to get your cell phone at the end of the class. Te voy a enviar la foto ahorita. Voy a enviar la foto de los verbos. I need the three categories. Okay, I need the three categories. And what we are going to do is that we are going to send an audio with the three categories. Okay, you are going to send me an audio mentioning the three different categories, okay? Me va a leer las tres categorías en el audio. And we are going to analyze between each other, okay? Nos vamos a analizar entre todos. And you are going to say, for example, imagínense que yo mando mi audio y digo, eh, suggest, suggested. Me puede decir, hey, Nati, is suggested. Corregimos ahí. Podemos hacer correcciones entre todos. And you say, for example, imagine that I say, live, live it. You say, Nati, it's not live it, it's lived. Okay, and we can correct each other. There you have the three categories. This is going to be tomorrow, okay? El día de mañana, usted me va a enviar un audio leyendo las tres categorías. You're going to say, suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Number Mandale two. Audio, <laughs> no, that's, that's not the idea. I need you, you to practice. Audio para practicar el thing. <laughs> the next one you say, lived, climbed, phoned, waved, arrived, 
cleared, studied, listened. Alguien que la grabe. You can watch the class later. So I see that. Recuerden que está la clase en YouTube. Tiene su Ay, clase. Verdad. Tiene su clase. Pero me va a un audio. <laughs> Teacher Nati nos va a mandar un audio a WhatsApp. You can, you can yeah. practice, ¿ok? La idea es que ustedes Hola. practiquen. Hola, Hola, mi amor. Tan linda. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. We are here. So, alguien que la grabe. Es, la mi, es mi sobrino que quiere aprender inglés. También. Oh, that's perfect. So, he can start doing it right now. Él puede empezar desde ya. Es el mejor momento. So, exactly. It's the best moment, right? So you have it here. And with the T, so you say announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed, laughed, brushed, crashed, work, liked, attacked. Okay. That's what you're going to do. You say number one, number two, number three. In, D, and T. Okay. I need you to practice tomorrow, ¿ok? Practíquenlos. Cuando ya se sientan que los tienen ahí al 100, envíen el audio, ¿ok? And we're going okay. to check that, ¿ok? So, but that will be for tomorrow. That will be for tomorrow. We are going to practice. And for sure, tomorrow we are going to study the negatives and the questions. And we are going to practice a little bit on paragraphs, ¿ok? So tomorrow we are going to practice a little bit more in deep with all these things. Well, my dear students, I will be waiting for your audios tomorrow. <laughs> Alguien que la grabe. La clase se graba siempre. Ahí está la lista en YouTube. Se pueden ver en sus lindas clases siempre. Pero hasta mañana la suben, teacher. Así no se va. No, I, I put it there as soon as I finish, okay? Se la voy a poner ahí tan pronto terminamos. No, pero ya tienen la pronunciación. Que okay? recuerden, ir. T and D. The idea is that you practice, ¿ok? La idea es que quiero que ustedes produzcan. Mejor escuchémosla a usted para que se nos grabe. La idea es que ustedes produzcan los sonidos. Quiero saber cómo ustedes se van desarrollando también, no que sean como una repetidora, ¿verdad? Sino más allá en todos los demás verbos, ¿cómo va a ser? En las categorías que les envié en las páginas, en el PDF, ahí va a la par de cada verbo cuál es la pronunciación. Eso también lo pueden practicar, ¿ok? So, my dear class, I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Please practice the verbs and practice the pronunciation, okay? Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, my dear class. Good night. Good night baby. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.